The 75th anniversary that we have in this year is a milestone for not only myself but my grandfather who came to Griffith and my mother and father who came in here. It wasn't easy for my father Francesco in 1929 to make the decision to say goodbye to my mother Elisabetta and his one-year-old son and boarded the Orford ship leaving for Australia in search of a better life, not knowing when he would see his family again. It took my father five years to save enough money to bring my mother Elisabetta and my brother Dominic to join him in Australia from Calabria in Italy. My father made his home in Griffith, New South Wales, where he worked as a cellar hand at a local winery. He was given grapes as part payment, which he made into dry red table wine, similar to what he made back in Italy. And once family and friends found out my father was making table wine, he decided to establish Calabria Wines and Sons, which was in 1945, and selling his homemade wine in oak barrels which were delivered by rail all over New South Wales to his new customers. Going back to the beginning when I was growing up, uh, it seems so, so long ago that uh, when we started working in the winery, we had no electricity, no running water, and my father Francesco, my mother Elizabeth Calabria, uh, really done it tough. We had nine children and I remember helping my mother fetch water from the main canal so we could wash and cook and that was um, memories that you never forget. Coming from an Italian background, when I left school you weren't asked by your parents what you want to do. You were told what you were going to do. So I was um, put into the vineyard. From the vineyard I was moved into the winery when I was 16 years of age and uh, I've been here ever since. Taking over the family business with my brother Tony in 1975 felt like a monumental task. I wasn't sure I'd be capable of achieving what was expected of me. But one thing I learnt from my father was how to be resilient, trust yourself and never give up. A little while later I met a wonderful woman named Lena. Not only has she been an incredible mother, but a pillar of support for the Calabria business. Lena and I were married in 1974. We have been a true partnership ever since. Around that time, we released our first wines with the Calabria name on the bottle. It was a huge moment and decision for our family business. We were so confident in the quality of our wine we made, we were willing to put our name on it. Being from the Riverina, uh, I always had a challenge and the whole area had a challenge to show that the quality of fruit that we pick here in the region and the quality of wine we make is consistent year in and year out. It'd be very nice for my parents to be here today to see where we've ended up from where we started and to see that my children, my three boys, Frank, Michael, Andrew and my daughter Elizabeth being involved in the business gives me great pleasure and heart to see that they're taken to the next generation and I couldn't be so proud of what they're doing and uh, I'm sure that they will continue that on to their children as well. Today we are proud of our family roots that are embedded in the Riverina region and now expanded to the Barossa Valley where my family and I are proud custodians of three great vineyards. We're extremely proud of the work we're doing now in the Riverina and will continue to showcase the region, but also excited of the opportunities to come as we explore new regions like the Barossa Valley, where we have established a second home with historic vineyards and new cellar door. We've overcome a lot in 75 years. There's been plenty of heartaches, but still a lot to celebrate. One thing is certain, Making sure we leave a legacy for the next generation is what drives us. And seeing that come to life makes all the hard work worthwhile. Mm -hmm.